Many people are not familiar with Eritrea as a travel destination. But if you're the type that wants to explore something new and different off the beaten path, check out Asmara Eritrea. I love the architecture everywhere in the city along with the people. Leila, let's talk. <laughs> Welcome to Leila Talks in Asmera Eritrea. Make sure you subscribe to the Leila Talks channel. Hit the like button and, and hit notifications. I have arrived to Asmara Eritrea. I can't wait. I'm only here for a day, but I'm going to make the best out of it. And you're just going to take a tour with my family and just see what this country, what this city is all about. There are two main hotels you can stay in Asmara. One is called Asmara Palace. It is located about five minutes from the airport. The Asmara Palace has a lot of space, amenities, with a beautiful patio, including an indoor and outdoor pool. So if you like something modern, you probably wanna stay here. The other hotel is centrally located in town. It is exquisite. It's a historic boutique called Albrego Italia Hotel. <laughs> I love the architecture here. Here are the top places I saw in one full day in Asmara, Eritrea. First stop on the Saturday morning was the Asmara Central Market. I saw vegetables and fruit and animal products. It was just a lively place to be. And they also had a few souvenir shops on the outside of the market. How much are those wooden crosses? Asmara is really known for its architecture. And so whether you're going to visit the Cathedral of the Asmara, which you can't help because it's kind of in the center of the town, it is one of the finest architecture buildings from the 1930s in this city. And it's a prominent tower that can be seen from any part of the city. Whether it's the banks, whether it's the library, everything is just so beautiful. I'm going to spotlight a few other interesting sites like this 100-year-old pharmacy that has been frozen in time. It looks like it's straight from the Willy Wonka movie. Next, this one-of-a-kind Fiat building was developed in 1938. Skeptics were sure the wings of the building would collapse, and after over 80 years, it's still standing to this day. We are coming upon Pushkin Square. That's right, Pushkin Square in honor of Alexander Pushkin, the famous Russian writer and poet. Legend has it his great-grandfather is Eritrean. Now, it has been confirmed his father's ancestry comes from Africa, but from what I found, the specific location is unclear. Fun fact, there's also a road named Alexander Pushkin Street in the capital of Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Look at this bench. Everything here was designed with style. You can even take a midday nap. Heading over to the expo, the expo grounds have a number of exhibition halls, restaurants, and bars. This large area was developed in support of trade fairs, concerts, and conferences. And look what we see here. Whoa! I was shocked to see these two planes just hanging out. Apparently, the Boeing 727 was hit by gunfire, and so the plane was stripped and transported to the Asmara Expo site. This is the Italian cemetery of Asmara. It's designated as a UNESCO heritage site. Oh, really? One of the sites that has been designated. It's really pretty. So the architecture in here, and the marble, and the work done, the craftsmanship is just insane. Um, you'll see tombs that are that are amazing in terms of the, 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 the design the execution of the uh, carving of the marble this is check out this is one of the graves look at the marble wow. look at the detail this is in the 1930s this guy died right? his, him and his wife died in the 30s and they were born mm. they were born here actually <laughs> they died really in the 30s. wow so beautiful some people were born abroad and then they came here but yeah. Look at the craftsmanship. Exquisite. You can find these type of marble statues throughout the cemetery. 
It reminds me of the Veiled Christ in Naples, Italy. If you haven't seen it, it will blow your mind or even make you shed a tear. Now, I didn't get a chance to go to the National Museum of Eritrea. I was there on a Saturday, although it is highly recommended. Ah, uh, now hanging out and strolling on Liberty Avenue. It reminds me of Hollywood Boulevard in Los Angeles with the palm trees along the wide pedestrian walkways. You can do some shopping, some people watching, or go for a nice stroll. You can also stop by a local coffee shop. Sometimes you just need a break. Oh, these macchiatos are so yummy. Or get some gelato ice cream. Apparently this is the best gelato in town. Or visit a cool family bar before it gets too dark. That's been in business for 85 years and hasn't changed one bit. Now, drum roll please. My favorite place at an elevation of 2,325 meters, making it the sixth highest capital in the world by altitude. The specific area that I just found so much serenity and peace is Durfo. So we are now in Durfo, which is approximately about 10 minutes outside of the city and you can access all of this beautiful nature. There's mountains on mountains on mountains. This is just a small piece of it. Durfo is the main area that connects Asmara, the capital, to Masawa, a very popular beach destination. If you have time, more than a day, please, you have to take a drive, the scenic route to Masawa, or even take a railway excursion. Why should people come here? People should come here because in America, not everybody's always nice. In Asmera, everybody gives people flowers, like I'm giving you. Ah, uh, thank you. And even if people are strangers, mm. we always help them. Don't forget, make sure you subscribe and hit the notifications button. And let us know if you want to see future travel videos. It is my favorite hobby. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>